Joining us now is Northeastern State men's golf coach, Scott Varner. Coach, um, the 2015-16 is almost here. Um, what do you got to tell us about the team? You know, I'm excited. I'm always excited this time of year. As you just said, it's almost here. And, and this time of year, if you're coaching and you're not getting excited about seeing your kids come back and your new kids come in and excited about what the year holds for you and, and, and the goals that you have that you expect to achieve, then it's probably time to retire, check it in, go do something else. So I am very excited. Uh, you know, we've got a majority of our kids back from last year that were contributors off a team that when we were good last year, we were really good. But when we were bad at times, we were really bad. And, uh, and a lot of that was youth and, and, you know, we were young, especially with the kids that were principally in the lineup in those events. But uh, again, when the, it shows what you can do and, and what these kids could do at, at certain times when we were, uh, you know, three or four tournaments, we were in it to win it coming down the last three holes of, of a tournament. Uh, that shows how good we could be when we were when we were good when we were taking care of business and playing with a high level of confidence and managing our game managing our emotions and all the things that go into this ultimate head game called golf uh, and we even showed signs of that a couple times in the spring but uh, had trouble finishing rounds and tournaments in the spring a little bit at times too so again we expect to wipe that that, that off that stink off from the spring and uh, and again, these kids, we're going to be more consistent. Some of that just happens through maturity. These kids are going to be a year older. They've been through the wars now. They've been through the, the, the battles and, and the tournament rounds. And there's nothing like the experience as a teacher. You can practice, practice, practice. But until you have to do it under the gun with the lights on, uh, as we like to say in sport, uh, that's, the, that's the greatest teaching, uh, teaching time that you can have. And, and so our kids have had all that experience. All these young kids that are coming back, <coughs> Uh, have had that and we have our expectations are very high and our expectations never change. You know, we've had a, we have a great tradition at NSU and our, our men and our women both. Uh, we've been to more NCAA tournaments and qualified for more NCAA tournaments than just about anybody in the country over the last 17 years. Uh, and I mean just about everybody in the country. There are probably only five or ten teams that could say that. Uh, so we do have a proud tradition and of uh, being nationally ranked and and uh, conference championships, et cetera, et cetera. But we expect to, our goals don't change. We expect to go compete for a national championship. We expect to compete for a regional championship and make sure that we make the NCAA regional. And we expect to win a conference championship. We expect to win every tournament we play in. So those goals don't change. And I feel like that we've got the players that can do it. And then we've added on some new kids that I feel like we've got four newbies coming in. Uh, that I think are extraordinary players and great character kids that I really am excited about blending them in with the young kids that we have that are coming back from the previous year. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a it's going to be a wide open year in some ways for us. But uh, if our kids play like the talent level, I know that they have and can play with. Uh, and again, that's kind of on me, again, to make sure that we play with that level of confidence. We manage our games, manage our emotions. Uh, those kind of things in tournament play, and if we can get that done, then we could be pretty darn good. Last year, as you mentioned earlier, it, it was an up and down year. You had your bright spots, you had your low spots. It, is it really just experience in terms of smoothing out those inconsistencies, or is there something that you can do, you know, encouraging to just try to try to, like I said, just smooth them out and, and, and be closer to the top more consistently? Well, and that's learning how to win as part of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Because several of those rounds, frankly, most of all of those rounds occurred in spring. Our fall was quite solid uh, for the most part. And our spring, we were actually in it to win it in three different tournaments going into the last round of the five that we played before regionals. And we were actually at regionals in the mix going into the last round. That's a hard pill to swallow, but we were literally in the mix going into the last round to make the top five to make it to the final and had it just the most horrendous last round you could ever possibly imagine but we also that happened a couple other times earlier in the spring mm -hmm. and again you got to learn to finish and and that means sometimes when plan a in there and that comes with maturity <coughs> going to plan b plan c plan d plan z but that's what playing team golf's all about is you've got to figure out how to get the ball in the hole you've got to figure out how to score you got to figure out how to give your team a score when they absolutely need it even when you're not on your game and and that's part of being accountable and that's also part of being uh, a member of a team. And you got to fight for every shot. And sometimes the youngsters come out of high school and, and their junior golf years, 
and they don't understand being a part of a championship level team program like we have here and they have a mindset sometimes well it's just about them and as soon as things go south you know they just Katie bar the door they just go for broke you can't do that you cannot do that in team golf you may be having a tough day and it may be the difference in you shooting 76 versus 77 but you can't let a 76 turn into an 84 because you're going broke and you're just thinking you know to heck with it uh you're not entitled to that you're not allowed to do that and again that comes with maturity we had a lot of you know freshmen sophomores playing last year and uh and they were the ones a lot of times guilty of that where they were feasting feast or famine and you can't have those famine days in team golf again you've got as i tell our kids all the time it doesn't matter if you're on the PGA Tour, or if you're playing college golf, or if you're playing junior golf. You're not going to have your A game every time you tee it up. And you've got to be able to find a way to score and help your team even when your game's not there. That may mean you have to manage a whole different style of play than you're used to, but you got to do what you got to do, and you got to have that in you to be able to do that. And Again, that comes with maturity, and uh, I expect that out of those kids that are going to be back because the talent level's there. They're clearly, when they're good, they can be good, as we saw last year at times. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, we, we've got to have that. And again, our young players that I brought in, uh, they played at a really high level in some big time events. And uh, so they're not going to be afraid. They're going to come in ready to play. With multiple teams around the area, not just in the region, but also in the conference, that are capable of making deep runs um, in the national championship level. Just how tough and how strong is this conference, is this region as a whole? You know, our conference has, has done very well for a northern type conference. You know, and we consider northern, really it's Midwest, but in golf that's considered north. Uh, we've done really well the last several years. Central Missouri has clearly been our bell cow you know, making the, the match play, the, the top eight, the elite eight, so to speak, mm -hmm. every year for the last three years. And uh, we've had some other teams do well as well. So, you know, again, our regional, our super regional has been able to get some of those at large bids uh, based on the formula that we have uh, that resets next year, unfortunately, or fortunately for some teams uh, in some regions. But uh, again, that's going to, uh, that's very reflective of how well our conference and, and our region has done. Uh, it's an actual tournament, and uh, and we expect that to continue. Absolutely. All right, Coach. Uh, well, we're all looking forward to seeing how the men's team does this year. Uh, best of luck to you in 2015, 2016. Thank you, Cedric.